Oh, nice kick in the middle there by De here Getting it the heck out of there is I think number seven, Tanner McFarland, or actually that's number eight, Jacob Sear, clearing that for Sanford. Oh, here we go. Look at that relentless play there though by Baziga. And here we go. That'll be out. Oliver Brochu will take a break here. Fifteen minutes left in the first half. Portland Bulldogs leading the Sanford Spartans one to nothing. Steve Schwartz along with Sam Martin on camera for WPPS TV3 Sports. Bringing you another season of Portland Bulldog soccer. Oh, there's a nice send. Oh, just a little too much. But boy, the chances are rolling in for Portland. They keep coming. We don't know much about this Sanford team, but Portland's starting stronger as they have in years. There's just a sense of confidence watching them with the ball out there. They had a great preseason. Sanford had an opportunity to force an offsides there, but it didn't happen. Oh, a little, well, a little miscue, but look how it falls. Oh, and then it's going to go wide left, though, off the foot of Ibrahim Dahir. 14 minutes left. Oops, a little miscue there by Govin, um, who actually stepped on the ball. Glad that he's okay. Barry now. Molina. Watch out for this number one, Patrick Morris, who's a starting freshman for uh, the Spartans. That beautiful pass there by Sam Farr. There's a young man who has played this game. Yama. In. Oh, my gosh. Just out. Harun Habibzai will come in as Stephen Berry will take a rest. Molina now back to Govan. Oh, Habibzai, what an idea. You know, the, the Bulldogs over the years have really perfected that kind of two and three man little triangular pass there. <clears throat> a little short pass and then a player racing down one side or the other. Had some defensemen scoring goals as a result of that. Now we see number 16, Alex Frank, coming off for the Bulldogs. 
Oh, Molina. Actually, in hustling there and almost getting to it was Baziga. Oh, almost just outside the outstretched foot of Josh Irving. Oops. Oh, well, great. Look, just getting that foot in there. Oh, there's a shot, and Dan Kane with a save. Really his first save of the day. On the only chance against him. So the Bulldogs lead one to nothing with 10 and a half minutes left in the first half on the foot of Ibrahim Dahir, who scored the lone goal so far in this game. A little rough action there. And the call will actually go against Yama as he brought down Dustin Worrell, a junior back. And now in to kick it will be Matt Weber. Sanford has an opportunity. Getting the head on it there is the Portland player, and that's going to go wide and high as Ruende, Steve Ruende, is in Portland. And now with the goal kick will be number three, Eek Bakunda. Real, his official name is Hughes, or Hugh Gue. And here we go. Now, nice effort by Harun. As number 13, Isaac Chernin, set to check in for the Spartans. Right, uh, standing right there with great defense is Jimmy Parks, who's really everywhere, all over the field, right, left, front, and back, and even listed as a goalie on the roster. So I don't know, I guess he does it all. He's a senior captain. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh, a little too far out in front, and Tyler Burgess with the presence of mind to come up and get that. Seven minutes and 40 seconds left in the first half. Portland with some great chances and some great promise, leading only one to nothing, but goals are scarce sometimes in soccer. Portland dominating play, however, today. And here we go. Nice little triple team there gets the ball away from Dahir. Tries to thread the needle, but again, the double and triple team of Sanford. And there's a, an interesting shot there by Josh Irving. Caught on the bounce by Burgess, who will now clear. Josh Irving stepping up and getting a foot on it. And that sh I think that's Portland ball. Nice hustle there by uh, uh, Steve Ruende. 
Checking in now for Portland will be Chandler Sturgeon, number nine, for Connor Bruce. Sanford ball here with six minutes left in the first half. Parks now to kick it in. Sanford really has not mounted a scoring attack yet here today. They have some talent on their team, as we can see. I think that's as much a tribute to the ball control. Oh, what a great pass! Oh, a little too far, though, as Molina couldn't catch up to it. As much a tribute to Portland High School's defense and midfield play. as to the strength of the Spartans. Here we go. A little bit of kickball going on here in the middle of the field. It's just heads up play there by Bobe. Look at Molina. <laughs> Late whistle. Some of the fans aren't happy with that. That was Weber kicking in. And it will be Portland ball with Bakunda to throw from the far side. Here's Irving. He's everywhere today, just really scrapping and getting uh, fighting for balls and winning many or most as Brochul is going to get ready to check back in. We said goodbye to his brother Liam, who graduated last year. Soccer and lacrosse player. Oh, and here's a chance now for uh, Sanford. Oh, but look at that. De here, just there. Going down hard, boy, was the. Uh, Parks there. Sanford playing with a sense, a renewed sense of urgency here as they'd like to get on the board before the, oh, and there's clearly an offsides. as two Portland players, Bobe and Dahira offsides. <clears throat> this is early season. I'm surprised, frankly, there aren't more calls like that today. As Farr and Brochu set to check back in. Evan Nalette with the ball. Oh, and a shot goes over the goal. I think that's three points. Because it looks like it went in between the crossbars as well. Two minutes, 20 seconds left in the first half. Portland Bulldogs leading the Sanford Spartans one to nothing. Boys varsity soccer action here on Saturday, September 7th. Oh, 
nice pass, and look at now, Habib's eye with a chance to cross it in. A nice little chip shot. Oh my gosh, great goal play there, but to here with the ball, he's already got one goal. Oh, just over. With a minute 20 seconds left in the first half and an opera scoring opportunity, it'll be Sanford ball. They'll try to mount one more attack maybe before the first half is over. And here's a bib's eye with a chance. Oh, and it goes just out. Half a minute. And again, just heads up play by Habib's eye. The throw in will come by Weber, but 15 seconds are left here. And uh, oh, yeah, that's uh, just a behind the over the head pass there by Fall. Three, two, one, and that's how we'll end the first half with the Portland Bulldogs leading the Spartans of Sanford one to nothing. Just gone back on the air, and we've just seen a goal by the Portland Bulldogs. So, Bobe from far for goal number two for the Bulldogs. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty, folks, but we got the, the camera on in time to show you that goal. A great way to start the second half for the Bulldogs. And here we go again. Oh, nice effort there by Yama, bidding for his first goal of the year. On the great send there by Sam Farr. And here's Brochu now with a pass over to Irving on the left side here. And that'll be uh, Sanford Ball. It's got to be deflating for a team to have come out from a pep talk at halftime, be told by their coach, look, we're only down by one goal here uh, to a team like Portland. A long send back to the goal. <laughs> look at Garvin pressuring. Taking nothing for granted, the Bulldogs, and a little bit of push there by Brochu. The coach for the Spartans is Brian DeRozier. Assistant is Dave Eldridge, the athletic director Gordon Sauls, and the trainer is Jessica Hobgood for the Sanford Spartans. Steve Schwartz and Sam Martin on camera for WPPS TV3 Sports bringing you the first boys varsity soccer action of the season for your Portland Bulldogs here on Channel 3. Cleared by Burgess. I mean, excuse me, by the Portland uh, goalie. There's a different goalie now starting in there. Oh my gosh! Great, great goalkeeping there. Portland now with a chance in the middle here. Irving, relentless pressure. Molina, back to Brochu with a nice long send. Oh, offsides is called.
That could be Andrew Hookster in goal now for the uh, Bulldogs. Platooning. With Dan Kane, we'll get the word on that in a moment. Oh, just over Yama, who turns around. Now, that's a heads-up play, literally, by Tommy Montgomery. Oh, and there's a nice play there. Nice one-two pass by seven and six here. Oh, the shot is in and over. So we've got uh, Andrew Hookstra in goal here now. And we do have a platoon going on between he and uh, Dan Kane. Oh, and offsides by a mile. <laughs> so sometimes offsides is not always easy to capture or see as a fan. But when Portland has been offsides today, there's been no doubt. They've been way offsides. To here. And again, offsides. That's uh, Sam Fire is offsides there, and uh, the um, the referee is right there on top of it. Some disagreement by uh, some of the Portland fans as to whether that was an offsides. Stephen Berry now with a nice send to Molina. And here we go. There's no offsides there. Oh my gosh. The goalie was way out, but heads up play there. Covering it there is Burgess. The long pass out. Yeah, there's the call there on Tommy Montgomery. It will go Portland's way. Sam Farr will kick it in. We have a substitution right now. Taking a break will be Bobe, and coming in for Portland will be Alex Frank. The senior midi. And here we go. You know, anything can happen with the Sam Farr. Oh, but it's covered nicely by Burgess. He, um, he could have taken a shot from there. Oh, and it's gonna be uh, Portland ball, actually. Good pressure by uh, Josh Irving, and it goes past the foot of Jimmy Parks. So here we go now. Farr, a little one touch back. His brochure into Irving, traps it. Just a little wide left. Early in the second half here, just about uh, eight and a half minutes into it, Portland enjoys a two to nothing lead over the Sanford Spartans. Ooh, heads up play, and that really looked to be Portland's ball. And uh, the referee, however, uh, <laughs> seeing it differently or listening or uh, watching the hand signals of the Sanford player. Oh, 
Oh, and there's a clear violation by Duncan. Mitch Duncan for Sanford as he drops Brochu with, a, with an arm. And that goes deep. Comes Molina. Got three on him. Threads the needle. Up to Yama. Yama now breaks through. Here we go. And a score unassisted. His first goal of the year. Yusef Yama. What a fine addition he is to the Bulldogs program this year. Wasting no time. Ten minutes into the second half of the first game of the year. Oh, look at Molina, relentless there. With defenders all over him, and there's threading the needle there is Oliver Brochu. Oh, another opportunity. He's actually sent down, but uh, no call. Burgess with the ball. That's a nice, solid kick there, but it's off the back of the foot of Molina. And the call will be made there on the left side. A foul on Molina. Oh, over the goal. What an opportunity that Sanford had there. It looks like that was Evan Nolette, perhaps, if I can see from here, number three. <clears throat> Just to call that a collision, and that'll be off the Sanford player. So Stephen Berry on the right side. Harun Habibzai. Number 11 and Connor Bruce, number 18, checking in for Portland. As 22, Stephen Berry and 5, Charlie Govan will take a seat. Sanford Ball. Throw in from the far side of the field. And Habibzai comes up with it. Nice, dumps it back. Oh, nice play there by Dahir. Oh, Yama, oh, oh my gosh, it's an own goal. It's in. So that's out. It'll be a Portland ball. We'll try to get clarification as to who is closest to that ball because that's who's going to get credit for the goal. Oh, look at far. So the likely scenario is that either Sam Farr or Yusuf Yama will get credit for that goal. And it, it appeared as though uh, Sam Farr was closest to it, but it's going to all be according to what the referee decides. Got some clarification there from Brian Farr, Portland High School super fan and father of the player now kicking the corner with a beautiful foot. Oh, that's a nice ball. <laughs> 